In this example, we construct the probability distribution. Let us see the statement of this example. There are three empty seats on a bus. Six girls and two boys want to get on the bus. The bus driver will randomly choose three of them to let them on. Draw the probability distribution for number of girls. Now here we can see that N is equal to A6 plus 2, which is equal to 8. There are total 8 people. And R is equal to 3. We have to choose 3 from them. So first of all, we need to find size of the sample space, which is denoted by N of S. So number of all possible selections are N C R, C S combination, which is equal to 8 C3. And if we calculate it, it means 8 factorial divided by 8 minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial. And if we further simplify this, we have N of S is equal to 56 after simplification. Now, number of girls are the values of the random variable X will be one girl, two, or three. They can get on the bus. So we need to find probability for X is equal to one, then X is equal to two, and then X is equal to three. To find the probability of X is equal to one, X is equal to one mean one girl can get on the bus. Then there are six girls. From six girls, we have to pick one girl. But there will be total three person get on the bus. So the remaining two can be selected from the boys. And divided by size of the sample space, 8C3. This is the same formula, just like probability of A is equal to N of A divided by N of S. And now if we calculate this, and after simplification, we can get 6 divided by 56. Now we need to find probability of X is equal to 2. So probability of X is equal to 2 here is equal to 6C2, which means we take two girls from the 6 and now three people will get on the bus. So we take the remaining one from boys divided by size of the sample space, which is 8C3. And if we simplify this after simplification, we get that the solution is 30 divided by 56. Lastly, we have to find probability of X is equal to 3 when three girls can get on the bus. Then this is equal to 6C3. We, we get three girls from six and now from the boys, there will be zero one on the bus divided by 8 C3. And again, if we simplify this after simplification, we get 20 divided by 56. And now we know that probability distribution is a table which contains all possible values of the random variable X and their corresponding probabilities. So the values of the random variable X are one, two, three. When the value is one, we can see its probability is six divided by 56. When the value is two, when X is two, the probability is 30 divided by 56. And when the value is three, then the probability is 20 divided by 56. And that is the required probability distribution.
In this example, we find mean variance and standard deviation of the probability distribution which we have just obtained in the previous example. E of X, which is also called mean, is equal to summation Xi into P of Xi where i is from 1 to n, but in this case, i is from 1 to 3, because there are only three values of the random variable. So from this, we can write x1, p of x1, plus x2, p of x2, plus x3 p of x3 and now let us substitute the values from the given table the value of x1 is 1 and the value of its probability is 6 by 56 then plus the value of x2 is 2 and then the value of its probability is 30 divided by 56. Then plus the value of x3 is 3, and the value of its probability is 20 divided by 56. Now let us simplify this. We have 6 divided by 56 plus 60 divided by 56 plus 60 divided by 56. And if we further simplify this, we have 126 divided by 56. And from this, when we divide it and simplify, we get that the value of E of X is 2.25, and that's the first solution, which is mean of the probability distribution. In the next step, we need to find variance of X. Variance of X is denoted by S square, and it can be obtained by using this formula. In this formula, we already have the value of E of X but the value of e of x square is needed. So let us find the value of e of x square. e of x square is equal to summation x i square probability of x i where i is from 1 to 3 because there are three values of the random variable. It can be written as x1 square probability of x1 plus x2 square into probability of x2 plus x3 square into probability of x3. And now from the given table, let us substitute the values of x1 and probability of x1. So the value of x1 is 1. We write 1 square. The value of its probability is 6 by 56. Now plus substitute the value of x2. The value of x2 is 2. So we write 2 square into probability of x2 which is 30 divided by 56. Now plus x3, the value of x3 is 3, 3 square into probability of x3, which is 20 divided by 56. And if we simplify this, we get 6 divided by 56 plus 2 square is 4, 4 into 30, that is 120, 
120 divided by 56. Then 3 squared is 9. 9 into 20 is 180. 180 divided by 56. And if we further simplify this, we get 306 divided by 56. And from this, we can obtain 5.46. Now, just substitute values in 1. So 1 implies the variance s square is equal to e of x square and its value is 5.46 minus e of x whole square. The value of e of x which we have just obtained is 2.25 whole square. Now let us simplify this. So if we simplify this, we get the value of variance which is equal to 0 0.3975. And now to find the value of standard deviation, we just take positive square root of the both sides. So if we take positive square root of 0 0.3975, we get that standard deviation S is equal to 0 0.63. And that is the required solution. That's all.